and welcome everyone it's Angela here how are you guys doing today I hope that you had a lovely um, Memorial Day on Monday if you were in the US um, and we're getting all ready and geared up for our Jubilee for the Queen and the celebrations are looking great and very exciting literally thousands of street parties planned um, so I thought I'd just take you through a little project quickly today to keep you busy if you're not going out. I'm personally not going out <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, we have an extra long weekend. So we have a Thursday and a Friday off onto the weekend as well this week. So that's fabulous. Anyway, so just to keep us all focused and busy, I'm going to do another little page in the journal that we're working on. I am working on my lilac journal and I'm going to be putting together a little project to share with you today. And I'm going to put that at the really at the back of the, the journal. So we're looking at putting it onto this lacy page here, which I see I have upside down, but that's OK. <laughs> um, and yeah, so one off from the back here. So I'm going to just put that to the side for the moment and we'll we'll come back to that a little later. All right, so I couldn't help myself. Um, I do have a little envelope project and this is one of my favorite projects to make. And I was actually inspired by Gina. Now, Gina is a, a dear friend of mine, as well as an amazing and talented crafter. And she is doing, um, back in the US at the moment, she um, started the Firefly Studio 67. And I don't know if you were, um, if you know Gina, I'm sure you must do, but just wanted to let you know that Gina has started back with her crafting. And if you have not gone and had a look at her channel, I do recommend that you go and take a look. She did the, as I said, she was the inspiration for this project, which we did when we were doing Five on a Dime which was lovely and I suggest that you go and have a look in the description box if you'd like the link or just look up the Firefly Studio 67 and go and take a look at Gina's gorgeous work. Um, now this as I said is something that I, I love to do um, and the inspiration is all down to her and this is just my take on it. So what you need is a window envelope and now remember if you don't have a window envelope you can take a piece of paper and make one. Uh, it's not difficult. I'll give you some measurements. You can make your own window as well. So don't be limited by that. You don't have to have these direct uh, exact dimensions, but I'm going to give you what I have and something along these lines would work. It could be wider, but we're going to cut our envelope in half and it needs to have a window. It doesn't have to, but you know, it, um, that's what I'm using today. Okay, enough talking, Angela. Right, so this is eight and a half inches in width and four and a quarter inches, sorry, in length and four and a quarter in width. That equates to effectively 21 and a half centimeters this way and 11 centimeters there or thereabouts. All right, these are always just approximations. I haven't got a micrometer here to give you exact details, so please just bear with me. Right. What I've done is I have now effectively cut mine just off center, just so that I could take it a little bit off from the edge there. So that'll be different depending on how your envelope is constructed. So that is about just short of four and a half. So this one's slightly uh, shorter, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to notice. All right, so I'm using my Lilac Lovelies kit because that's the journal I'm working on at the moment with you guys. So you can use absolutely any paper or any kit. You could use pages such as music paper, book pages, you know, um, anything that you have. So don't be limited by what you don't have. Just go and have a look and see what you do have. I suggest that. Right, so let's get started. I have torn little bits up. I have. I'm going to stick them down. So let's get sticking. So I have used a piece here from these pages. That one came right from there and I've pulled that bit out, which we're going to use as well. So I just wanted to show you um, I had that piece cut off from the other day. So I want to actually just layer this up here. Now I'm doing this in pieces so that you can see a different option 
when we um, don't want to cut out a window and you want to bring some different elements, different pieces of paper, especially scrappy bits and much smaller scraps than what I've just shown you now. Um, so this is a great one to do for that. Now I'm just lining these up. I've just pulled some scraps together just to limit um, what I'm doing here. So I've got another piece. Now this piece comes from uh, the freebie that I gave in my Facebook group this month. So it was a freebie kit. So just a small kit, three pages. And I thought I love a bit of font. So, oh gosh, Abby's going wild behind me here. So I am sorry. She's doing her own thing. Digging in her bed. <laughs> As you do. Right. Uh, this is just a piece of the polka dot paper that we like to use. And I've just torn this by hand. I haven't used a ruler or anything like that. Listen to her. She's having a ball. We have had all the weather today. I, it wasn't five minutes ago that there was no sun in the sky, black clouds, and we had an absolute downpour. And I thought, gosh, it's really cold. Let me put my um, jumper on because I was really cold and it felt like winter. And now we have a little gap in the clouds and <laughs> I see... The sun is starting to poke out. I thought, right, let's get the camera on now. But gosh, I feel like I'm having all the seasons today. Right, this is just another little piece. Um, and I like the bit with the stamp on. And it was just in my scrappy pile. So I don't want to cover the stamp. So we're just doing that. So you see, I've just stuck on four bits there. And it's going to look a little prettier when we finished in a moment. So don't um worry about that too much right um the other thing is i took uh this over here it's one of the cards and i took the bit that was on the bottom here from these mini pages and i fussy cut that out and i've used the rest of that to put onto this card here and that's just some recycled card from I think it was a perfume box or something my daughter had so I said yes I'll have that so I'm going to stick that over here in a minute and then the bit I told you I pulled out came from here and I quite like those um that font and the little bits there you gotta just love the the vintage script and topography and drawings I just love the detail such an elegant age so I want to get that somewhere and I want to get that sort of on the top there like that so I'm gonna do that right so let's get that done like this I do quite like doing the patchwork thing um, I do it, it's quite satisfying putting all your pieces together so if you you do like that kind of thing masterboards like I see a lot of people doing uh, would also be a, an exciting activity as well right this is fussy cut out and love these colors of these poppies and um, I see poppies around me at the moment in bloom all sorts of colors and they're lovely and I do love them um, so yeah we have lots of wild poppies growing around as well oh <laughs> drop that okay Let's stick this one down now. So I want to get it a little bit there and a little bit there. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now, um, you, you could, if you want, go and do what I'm going to do. This is not a requirement. Um, but I just feel I want to do a little bit of stitching here. And to do that, I'm going to have to open this up. Yeah, so what did I do with my my um, bone folder? Now, you guys, you don't have to do any stitching. You know that. Um, and this is going to be a tricky... Oh, there we go. I just need to loosen that so I can go and stitch in there. So I will go stitch in there. I'm just going to give it a little edge. And then I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, so you can see I've just stitched around there and purely for decorative purposes, nothing else. 
So I'm going to just now stick this back together quickly. So it's just a case of um, putting that flap back in and just getting that stuck down nicely. Okay. Okay, so we are going to cover the back here and I've just used this beautiful cream lacy background paper and this is part of that latest printed kit I talked to you about uh, last time. So if you're wanting to get printed sheets, of course I have a digital as well and uh, the digital is A4 and USA. So if you were looking for that, JPEG, PDF, all of that um, and the links are below the video so if you were wondering and it's one of my staples i just love using this paper and it sort of matches everything that i i love to do so i can't help myself right now now that i've talked too much just gonna rub that off there a little bit just need to get a little bit just at the top there and why i've done that is i don't want to block up um the area here where I want to put my card in so yeah I must talk less and focus more <laughs> Mas and I right so let's see we'll get that down like that okay right so there we go and as I said that will be like this so this is the bit here and all I'm going to do is take one of these little fussy cut flowers and I'm going to just put it at the back here just to pretty it up a little bit and not have it looking so plain. I want to keep it pretty flat at the back. I mean, you can put all sorts here, um, but I think I'm going to just... Hmm, let's move it this way. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> I want to take uh, this bit here and I'm going to stick this on the top here. So again, I've just pulled a little piece of a scrap that I have been using uh, again from the kit and I'm going to just get that stuck up there. Now I've straightened this off. You can angle it. But I'm going to go with a, a straightened look there just to keep it even. And oh, the clouds are, we've got thunderstorms coming. I can hear, can you see it's got darker now? And the black skies are full. Gosh. Right, now just be mindful of the fold line there. And before I press this down, I want to just check that I have got that. Not that it's going to really matter, but there we go. We've got that look now. And then what I'm going to do is, I will get back to that. All right. So now what I did here was, um, we've got the, the envelope like this, but because I want the opening on the same side, so this one's opening is there. This one is in the middle. I'm going to turn that around. All right. So that we have both the openings on the same side. Right, um, and then at the top here, I've taken this background page, which beautiful is so pretty, I love this, and I'm going to stick this here, but this time I'm going to pay attention, and I'm going to put the glue just as a little bead across there, and then I'm going to just get it, leave the gap there so I can fit the card in, otherwise I'll be fighting with it later. The rest of that is fine. So if I just make sure that I've got it the right way, I have. So I'm going to just leave a gap there and then I know that's the way. Right. I'm having lots of fun crafting away in the weather. Um, I don't know where spring's gone, as I said. And um, well, I see Abby settled down there now, so that's great. She heard me say her name. The head's gone up. <laughs> Bless it. Oh my gosh, where would we be without our furry friends, hey? She does keep me amused. Okay, uh, then with the bit that I cut off, um, well, the other one I cut out, I've cut off another bit. 
this one is on there and then I cut off one from the little mini page next to it and I've just used that as a little pocket that we're going to make there so just a little pocket you could make a little belly band with some other fabric or even a piece of lace instead you don't have to have pockets these things have many many different options don't they so I just want to get this all nicely down there and I'm not faffing with that any further I think it's got enough going on there now I'm not I'm going to stick this bit down onto my journal page so I won't be covering anything there but I do want to take off that sticky strip and I think there's one on this side too so let's just get that off and then what we want to do is we want to make sure that these line up perfectly so I want to put them together and I want to get them nicely aligned and it's just a case of before these things start sticking down and they stick all right so we want to be careful gosh it is really stuck now it's coming off we're all right <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's it's probably easier to bend it. This is the worst part for me, really. Right, so I've got it there. I've got it there, like that. Here we go. Okay, that's where I'm going. It's too late now. <laughs> All right, so if it's if there's any space, and there is, because it only has a strip at the top, so now I can easily. Uh, just get some glue onto that section there. So I've just put glue on the loose part and that'll just stick that bit down. So we've got our two bits like that. All right, so now I'll just press that down. Um, and there we have it. So there's that. Now i um, just going to take some glue. I'm going to use my fabric tack, so let's just change tack here. So this is that beautiful lace from Plum Boutique. Any lace will do, really it will. quite like the ragged edges um, on this. Really pretty. So, oh, the kids are in the park now. The sun has... <laughs> the rain is arriving so they've run under the tree <laughs> with their mum and the brollies are out all the glue seem bogged up to dad and know what's going on <laughs> yeah i didn't craft yesterday so maybe that's the reason and there's a problem with that i'll have to check into it in a mo right so we've got that there just want to make sure it's sort of all right I don't know what's happening here but it's squeezing out there there must be a, a, a big blockage going on so we'll look at that in a moment we'll resort to the number two um, so again I have just taken uh, two of my little paper flowers I've just sewn them together with a little button there and I'm now going to use the art glitter glue where well, I would have normally used the fabric tag but I think it's it needs some attention there, so I'm going to put a large amount of this on. Oh, here comes the rain again. Gosh, what a funny day. And we're going to just put that a little bit over, just a little bit over, like that. Oh my gosh, the people in the park are getting soaked. They're all hiding under the tree. Okay, so we've got that there. Now, um... I think what we want to do is let's not battle let's get these bits in in here now I've taken two cards I've just measured this so I cut out the scissors from the mini pages the mini pages have two pages uh, there you know the ones with the smaller images and um, not the journal cards this is in the journal page kit and I've just um, used that Put it onto a bit of card so this is the background paper this is the scissors from that added that on and put it onto some card with a tab there and a little ribbon 
and then I've done the same here because I cut that off and used that there that was this was too big anyway so I'm going to get this one or hopefully uh, in here with any luck and I haven't tasted this so let's just hope it's going to work oh and it is gosh there we go we've got the little can with the flower sticking out that's a relief <laughs> and then the same with this one um just make sure that you got it open there and then you can get the, this in there as well all right it's always the the flap at the bottom that i struggle with and because we we glued it down um let me see what's going on here that's better okay here we go all right so we've got everything you can see the way i've put the tabs so that both of the bows can stick over i've just effectively put the tab one below the other and the way i did that was i held the two cards together to see where i needed to place them so that's what that is all right then on the inside here in this little pocket i've just got a little card from my ephemera pack and i thought i'd just put that little journal card in there like that that's all looking great let's get it nice and smooth everywhere right and that's ready now to go into our journal just like that this would make a great little gift or happy mail as well because it's always lovely to get little ephemera gifts isn't it so we're going to go back to our page at the back here and that's going to make a lovely addition to our journal isn't it yeah so that's what we're going to do now you can always um add some um stenciling on here but i'm quite happy with everything as it is um so i am just going to take my art glitter glue get that together and it's a bit slower now because i would have just used the fabric tack i don't stick any glue on there um just do it on this underneath piece And then we can get that all nicely stuck down. And there you have it. Right, so the last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to add on a few of these. So I'm going to just do that. I think I'm going to... These are just a die from eBay. And it was called a flower die, but one of the lovely ladies told me uh, hollyhocks. These are hollyhocks. So... If you're wanting to have a look i think i put a um i think hilda put a link in the facebook group for you to find this and i think they're beautiful these so i'm going to just put this one across there love that i'm going to stick this little green bit i was going to do that up here actually let's see yes let's do that so we'll get this i'm not sure that my uh glue is going to survive this <laughs> i'm struggling with it today something's blocked up we'll have to check it out after this so let's get this underneath the leaves there we go perfect and then we'll just get this other little one. And there we have it. How lovely is that? So that's our little project for today. I hope you like it. I thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you, Gina, for this wonderful inspiration. Um, you know, I've always loved this uh, particular project that you've done. And guys, if you haven't seen Gina or didn't know that she was back, go and take a look at her channel. She does beautiful things. Such a lovely lady. So creative. Links are below in the description box below. Um, and go and show us some love.
So to everybody, have a wonderful week. Um, I will see you all very soon. So stay well and take good care of yourselves. And thank you so much for your wonderful support and encouragement. I appreciate it immensely. So stay safe now, guys. Bye-bye.